Hey everybody, this is uh, Faith Night 400 with another uh, uh, episode of, or another uh, replay uh, from uh, World of Tanks and uh, today I will be doing uh, some replays uh, basically uh, between me and my uh, clan mates uh, and today in, well, in this one match I'm in my uh, premium uh, Berlin uh, IS-2 while I'm with uh, Uncle Otto in his, uh, in his uh, T-28 uh, concept uh, tank uh, which he uh, got from uh, well, as you can see, uh, so he's pretty much ahead of me because uh, I'm still working. Well, I haven't been playing for a while, so I haven't been able to get uh, a chance to get that um, that stuck four still. But uh, anyways, uh, we're on. Well, anyways, uh, we decided uh, to go into this general direction uh, to basically uh, fight whatever uh, is in the bridge area. And soon we decided to uh, see um, who was coming over, but uh, the reason I uh, picked this episode, or this replay I should say, for the episode is that, uh, well, there was a very slightly interesting thing to the show, basically, uh, that uh, Uncle Otto will probably have a good hoot uh, laughing about. Uh. So anyways, I'm here I am just trying to move up, uh, and uh, of course I tried to see uh, if I can get this guy Special with yes, uh, uh, of course the ARL 44 took a shot at me, but uh, luckily uh, uh, that one uh, bounced off. Uh, but yeah, uh, problem with uh, Russian tanks is that they got almost no uh, gun depression. So basically, I'm just trying to see how far I can drop my gun down while in a protective haul down position. And uh, basically, I didn't like uh, how this was going, so I basically just tried to. Uh, move myself around a bit just to try and see who can I uh, uh, shoot at uh, in, a ver in a position that could uh, best serve my uh, uh, well balanced uh, idea of just trying to shoot from cover and so far I see the uh, enemy tanks uh, basically uh, harassing the uh, well basically harassing that uh, T-3045 but it looks like the uh, R-44 wanted a piece of me still so he basically uh, Blew my track off, and I probably got hit by the uh, but uh, M4 Sherman. So uh, now that my track is up, I basically inside to close the distance. And oh, uh, I'm guessing that had to be a. Uh, uh, I, I can't tell the what uh, difference it is. Like if it was AP or uh, high explosives, but I just basically wanted the close distance between this guy because well, he uh, tracked me, you know. But then I realized the uh, uncle is in. Um, in a tight situation, so, so basically, uh, all aimed on the Sherman that and basically finished him off. And uh, yeah, if I, if I didn't make this decision, uh, I'll probably be dead uh, by now. And so, what I did was um, I basically pushed this well, I basically got it close to this guy, and, uh, and so I basically took a shot and pushed uh, this guy right into Uncle's. Uh, uh, gun and uh, for him to get a shot and uh, he, I was hoping he would uh, finish him off but uh, apparently someone else did uh, but uh, yeah uncle's gonna try and kill him with a ram kill but uh, but um, the guy died before he could even do that and so uh, that's my uh, second uh, kill of the game and uh, I don't really like uh, me teens basically uh, yeah, I was gonna try and uh, shoot that KV-1, but uh, the um, T-34 decided to get it, decided to get too close. Uh, you know, like I cannot uh, shoot uh, unless you're in the way. Uh, but uh, yeah. So before I uh, close this uh, replay off, um, well, as always, I always post up uh, two videos. Uh, but uh, here I'm with. Um, uh, former clan member SG51 and uh, and Aces and Ace, one of our uh, best uh, uh, clan members uh, who uh, have been featuring uh, in my uh, clan's uh, uh, replay channel. Well, the replay videos on my clan channel, I should say. Uh, and so the three of us are basically platooned up in our AMX 5100s, and I can't remember who it was, if it was SG or uh, Aces, who decided that we should go into the uh, the usual grinding position, and uh, so far, um, so far, usually uh, when we come around this area, usually there are like um, scouts, uh, like whether it be light tanks or mediums like the Comet or the Cromwell, who basically.
basically uh, come uh, into that uh, cliffside uh, that basically uh, direct lines uh, with uh, that road uh, back there uh, and basically just um, pound us in the, in the rear uh, as, as we try to make it around the, the grinding position and uh, so far uh, I was told to back up a bit uh, uh, by SG uh, just so that uh, well, what he had for an idea was that um, the idea was to have the enemy come around uh, the corner and basically give them uh, all six of our shells. Well, well, six times three is eighteen. So uh, if the, if I am not mistaken, uh, and uh, so far the uh, Cromwell B is probably like wondering, uh, what are these guys smoking? Like, are they uh, are these incompetent or something? And uh, if I could tell this guy something, uh, or I think no, it was a tiger. He probably thought we were incompetent. But uh, if we could tell this guy, uh, he would probably know by now what we were planning on doing. So, first tank, um, uh, the T-32, and another T-32. And so here I am, just uh, swinging my gun left and right to try and see. Uh, well, the bushes are in the way, and I cannot tell who basically uh, sticking out. Uh, and so far we just lost our uh, Berlin uh, Cromwell premium and uh, and so uh, we realized that uh, well these guys are basically waiting for us so we, so, uh, so we basically decided to give them all okay, so yeah it took uh, basically uh, Two for one module damage uh, uh, from one of those guys, and I had to basically use my premium repair kit to get both repaired. And uh, uh, SG finishes one of the guys off. Uh, now I've got uh, another the, the second uh, T32 to, to deal with, plus uh, these other guys. But uh, this is the part where uh, we're out of shells now, and so well, uh, armor piercing rounds, and so we had to back off and uh, and. Uh, just basically um, hunkered down at the cover and and seeing how the guys are basically um, well Aces has basically took a lot of beating uh, right there so he's basically uh, is not in the mood uh, to try and uh, stay uh, out in the open just so he can get shot at and oh uh, SG just took a big pounding well not a very severe pounding but uh, but uh, I'm loaded and uh, but no, 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 but the SG and Aces isn't, uh, so I basically, uh, well, uh, for a moment I thought uh, that was going to be my kill, but uh, SG basically got him uh, the second time there, so that was his second kill, or second uh, T-32 to kill, basically, and so, with five rounds left in my um, tank, or in my chamber, I basically decided, uh, well, yeah, SG and I uh, have more rounds, uh, but uh, I took a... Damage from my driver and uh, took out uh, pieces. Uh. And so far, yeah, we're just trying to. But yeah, I'm down to my last round and I'm just trying to make it, uh, make it count. And so I uh, put one into the uh, Tiger one end. But oh, uh, now all of a sudden we're being capped. And uh, so SG and I both agreed that we have to go back and uh, stop this uh, from happening. And uh, I can't remember if it was the Aces who said uh, who was uh, in the cap, uh, but uh, we were told that, um, that that there's an object 430 uh, in the base uh, just capping, and so we basically had to be careful. Uh, and well, Aces was telling me to be uh, careful the most because I just lost uh, more health than uh, SG has now, and and oh, we just realized there's an IS. Uh, there, so we have two tanks we need uh, to shoot, and by the time we get there, uh, our uh, auto loaders will be uh, fully uh, loaded. And and SG basically just took a well, basically just took a basically just finished uh, the uh, 430 off. And I uh, then I take my shot against the IS tank, and that basically puts the um, the IS of uh, capping uh, service. And uh, again. Uh, um, SG, uh, six kills now, so he basically just got a top gun, uh, but yeah, hey, uh, I got no kills on me, uh, but, uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, uh, I did my part, uh, I may not have, uh, got 
much uh, recognition out of it, but uh, but uh, all three of us basically just uh, pounded our way uh, into this uh, to this match here, and so now we're basically just trying to get to the other corner of the map uh, because that's where the uh, well, if you look at the map area, you can notice that the uh, oh, the GW Panther is basically located in that area. And we basically just tried to race over to see who would kill him the quickest, but uh, the T-150 got him, and uh, basically, uh, uh, basically uh, just uh, finished the game off uh, right there. So uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, me uh, with two replays, uh, uh, with Uncle Otto, uh, SG-51, and Aces and Eights uh, uh, 1, and... Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe our, to my channel, and maybe uh, if you like to see uh, yourself in more action with these guys, uh, please uh, join our uh, clan channel, or sorry, our clan, uh, and uh, help us, uh, uh, you know, beat everyone else. Uh. But other than that, uh, uh, take care, uh, and I'll, you know, see what else I can put up. Uh, so uh, peace out, everybody.